my latest experience with this cause was very painful because when I was covering the war on Gaza, that was the most painful thing I have ever done. I had to remain and uh, I, I, I had to, to focus while I was seeing those pictures, those children. I had, uh, I had to cut off my feelings from, from, from my work. I mean, it, it was very hard, it was very painful and affected my health. Because later on, I, 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 had, uh, I had to live with this trauma and I, I, I was thinking, what, what, what's happening to me? I, I had some trouble in my own health and I, and I figured out that what I went through in the studio during uh, the covering, during uh, asking them, our reporters, correspondents in Gaza, I had to... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's very hard because it was too much stress for me. I tried to be to remain objective. I tried to keep my calm. I tried I tried to keep strong, but inside I was not that strong. So that's how I was affected later on after the war was uh, over. Um, um, I was under severe trauma. Uh, this is the latest. Uh, uh, relation or if you want the latest um, uh, the latest thing that, that happened uh, between me and this uh, conflict if you go back more before uh, this conflict when I went into Gaza in uh, 2009 also it was it was too sentimental it was too uh, um, when you go there and you you meet people there and you hear from them the the, the real story and when you see how Gaza is how, and when you feel the siege in Gaza, it's, it's different. It's a different feeling that I cannot describe. You feel so related. And I'm not talking here about politics. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about these things. I'm talking about just being a human being, feeling with other. This is, this is what I felt. I felt that those people, the whole world is unfair with them.